Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Welcome to the Dog Island. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> ow, ow. Ow, ow. It's the Dog Island. We got some dogs on this island here. <laughs> how are you doing? Hey, uh, how everyone, together. Together, everyone. Ow, ow. <laughs> the dog sounds right there. Welcome to the video game valley. It's a beautiful day today, a perfect 72 degrees in this valley. I don't think this valley is at an island, but we're going to the dog island in a second here on the, P <laughs> on the PS2. Uh, from what I remember, last stream, last dog island stream, we made it to the island. We did, in fact, make it to Dog Island. And we found a doctor who's kind of a jerk. And that's about all I remember. But... We're gonna see much more of the Dog Island today. Today, we're just gonna go buck wild on this island. We're just gonna run around. We're gonna see all that the island has to show us. It's gonna be great. <laughs> It's gonna be wonderful. Hello, how is everyone? How are you all doing today? I'm doing okay. I, uh... Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing alright. Not as well as yesterday, but better than the day before that, if you want. <laughs> you want to create a little chart? You want to create a, a spreadsheet? Give a percentages of how, how each day goes? <laughs> Got a ginger beer with me. It's all it's all good. Everything's good. Ah, uh, delicious. Delicious. Jason, did you hear about the Adventure Time series finale? Did I hear about it? <laughs> yeah, I, wa I watched it today. I watched it today. I uh, just teared up constantly. I was just... By the end of it, I was a wreck. Man, I love that show. So good. Such a good show. I was not expecting it to have quite as much of an impact on me, but I just love that darn show so much. I'm sad to see it go, but I'm glad it got to go out on its own own terms. So, yes. <laughs> Amber Sweet! It's it's your birthday, Amber! Hey! <laughs> Look at hey, happy birthday, Amber! Happy birthday, Amber! Gonna celebrate on the dog island. All the dogs that baked you a cake wouldn't eat that cake. Amber, don't eat cakes baked by dogs. They're really bad bakers. Who knows what could be in that cake? Amber! Happy birthday, Amber. I hope you have a wonderful day. If a dog brings you a cake, don't eat it. <laughs> don't eat that cake. Amber. All right, I'm gonna push the button now. Here's the, here's the game on button. Here it goes. <laughs> oh God. Oh, I love these darn dogs, huh? Yep, there they are. There's the there's the dogs. Now we just need to see the island, and we'll be all set. Oh yeah, I forgot my name. <laughs> my character, Sinclair's, named after Claire's accessories, of course. Oh yeah, we got these sweet glasses. <laughs> Look at these glasses we got. Last episode. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, it's a good day in this good dog island. All right, let's see if I can look at my quests. What quests do I have right now? Oh God, yeah, this little <laughs> this little buddy. This, this horrible ghost. Let's see. Diary. Medical herbs. Dr. Potan. 
told you to gain experience so you can find the medicine. Go out of Pupsville and gain experience. Alright, sure. Anything, anything good? <laughs> anything good? No. I guess we're leaving. I guess we're leaving this little village. Gonna see the rest of Dog Island. Here we go. Green Meadows. That sounds nice. Oh, cutscene. Yep. Hi there, young one. I sent something from you. You wish to learn the art of sniffing, yes? <laughs> is that what you sense? Oh no, this is the character everyone told, told me about. I need to get, I need to get a better voice for this character. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do a racist one. People have said this character's <laughs> got some. Qu some questionable stuff, maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's this? <laughs> what, what, what voice? What's a good voice? Surprise you, haven't I? I know, I know. I can read you like a book. Oh, I know that look on your face. You don't believe me, yes? Well, do not be surprised yet, because I have more surprises for you. Hold on. Hmm. A sniff, a sniff, a sniff. Your name is Sinclair's. Named after Claire's Accessories, the <laughs> your parents' favorite shop in the mall. And, hmm. Sniff, sniff, sniff. You met Potan just a while ago. Where? Wow, what? <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. You've been told by Potan to find something it needs, but to find it, you must learn the art of sniffing, yes? Yep. I assume you are impressed with the power of sniffing now, yes? Seems you can sniff a little bit, however. You never had proper training, am I correct? Yep. I must tell you this. You need someone to train you. And you are lucky that I am here for you. My name is Yilu. They call me the Great Sniffer around here. And I will train you. But before I begin, I'm going to teach you how to survive on this island. Oh boy, how to survive. <laughs> oh, Gimme Bean, thank you for the $5. I may look fly, but I want to D-I-E die. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, dang. <laughs> that's that sucks unless that's lyrics at which point yeah <laughs> lightning Ing, thank you for the five dollars don't eat cakes baked by dogs eat pies baked by cats brought to you by catty pie the number one seller of cat based <laughs> sorry cat baked pies in the video game valley oh got some ads coming on got some ads <laughs> got some ads showing up You must listen very carefully because it'll be crucial for your endeavors. About the enemy. Oh no, we're getting some propaganda now. <laughs> there are many animals beside us here on this island. And of course, some are dangerous. This bear, for example, looks dangerous, yes? When you see dangerous creatures, stay away from them. The life meter. And this is important. When you are attacked by those dangerous creatures... Whoa! Your life at the top right of the screen will decrease. And when your life is empty, the game is over. And when the game is over, all of your items will be lost, so be careful. So you must be careful with your life. Okay. That's enough for today. By the way, I have not explained the levels now. You wish to know about the levels? Uh, yeah, sure. Tell me about these levels. As you wish. Your level increases when you learn a lot of smells. 
and you won't have to worry about small injuries so much when you get to higher levels. But only us teachers of sniffing can raise your level. Now on this island, there are dogs like Road and Tao besides me, but they are not the type to teach beginners. You can't just go knocking on their doors. But do not worry, I will train you here. Sniff as many smells as you can and come talk to me. You wish to hear it all over again? No, th no, thank you. Okay then, that'll be all for now. All right, your first task is to find the ring fragment one, which I have hidden in this stage. It smells like this. You learn the scent of the ring fragment one. When you find the ring fragment one, bring it to me, yes? Then I'll teach you something else. Now you shall go. Okay, all right, thanks. Gotta find this ring fragment one. Hey, look at these chickens. <laughs> little chickens. Hi, right, how's it going? I'm looking for ring fragment one. Have you seen? <laughs> Have you seen ring fragment number one? Oh, it's a little pig. <laughs> Oh, we're getting real close. We're getting super close to rig fragment one. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh, I could. It's just, it's so close. Oh no, I'm getting farther away now. Come on, ring fragment one, where are you? Oh my god, I found it. Oh, ring fragment one. <laughs> yeah, I got ring fragment one. Hooray! Okay, I guess I go back now. Is that is that, is that it? Is that all I got to do? Got to do? Yes, this is it. Hmm. Uh, ahem. I'm gonna teach you how to face dangerous creatures! Oh no, the enemy's status. Dang. Notice the icon that appears above the creature's head? It shows what condition they're in. A great sniffer like me can read their minds. So I'm gonna teach you how to make out their thoughts from those icons. This icon obviously shows that it's sleeping. Obviously. This icon tells you it's awake, but does not see you. Now you are safe from those creatures when the icons display this. They will not attack you if you keep quiet and stay away. Oh no. <laughs> this icon tells you that it sees you. When it is at this state, it might attack you if you approach near it. So you should try to stay away from it. Barking, okay, barking. A, a riff. Next is how to bark. It's simple. Try barking at creatures that are sleeping or sneak up on a creature that does not see you and bark at it from behind. So when they have this icon, sneak up from behind and press X. Okay. A riff. Oh, I got to bark. If you are successful, they will faint. Oh, geez, faint, huh? If you hold down X longer, your bark will be louder, and the creature will stay fainted longer. Why don't you give it a try? Just hold the X down. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wow. If you hold down the X longer, your bark will be louder, and the creature will stay fainted longer. Yeah, you said, you said that. <laughs> But you will need to be close to the creature to do this. So approach as close as you can without being spotted. If you use bark properly, no one can stand against you. Enough said then. I guess this is good for today. But I must give you a test on this to see if you have learned. 
bring me ring fragment four from a snake hood beast side. A snake, huh? Use bark on the snake. You will drop the ring fragment four. And this is its smell. All right. Now go get it. All right, we gotta go get ring fragment four from a snake. Cool. <laughs> cool. Nope, nothing. Oh, that's a snake. Yeah, that's... That's definitely the one, right? Oh, it's a bunch of snakes. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I guess we gotta... Gotta, gotta sneak up. How do I... How do I act all quiet? No, that wasn't it. <laughs> that was that was not that was not quiet. I was hoping there was like a sneak button, but there super doesn't seem to be a sneak button. So Whoa! <laughs> I got I got a ring fragment four, sweet. Sorry for donking you up, Snake. Dun dun dun. Oh, yes, yes, this is it. Well done. For a moment there, I thought I lost it for good, thanks to that snake. Yep. Nothing. I get a lot of <laughs> what a snake fights apparently. Well done. I'll give you this in return. You got medicinal herb. You can use it by selecting it from the item menu. The item menu can be found at the menu by pressing the start button. This herb will restore your life. You can also buy one from the store. And you should always carry some. This is all I can teach you for now. With this information, you can find the medicinal herb Dr. Potan is looking for. And do not forget to keep training your sniffing. I, I will teach you other things when you're ready. Other things. <laughs> and one more thing. You should come back to me when you learn a lot of smells. When you're ready, I will raise your level. Well then, take care. Oh, I got one bone. Cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see what I can find. It's... Oh, oh, there's something here. There's, there's some cabbage. <laughs> I got, I got some sweet cabbage. Does that mean that I know the smell of cabbage now? Well, I guess we're free to just kind of run around at this point, huh? Hey, who's this? Is that an animal? No, it's a ro Oh, that is an animal! Just <laughs> look at that animal! What are you doing hiding in this little... This little grass? Come on out. Oh, very cute. Look, <laughs> look at that little face! Look at that cute little face. Wonderful. And a little pig. Very good pig. Oh, there's another smell. Oh, I'm getting close to something. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow, it's a grapefruit. <laughs> cool. They grow underground, those grapefruits. There's a snake. Da -da -da -ba -ba -da -da. The dog island. Island of dogs. No, I don't want to fish. It's kind of weird for them to call this Dog Island. I mean, there's definitely like a bunch of other animals too. 
It is not just the dog island. The dogs have just come here and colonized this place. Oh yeah, the dog island. This is an island of dogs. <laughs> just, just and only the dogs here. Hey, Sayori. Oh, hello there. Oh, you need to eat more and get more meat on those bones. Oh, okay, Sayori. Cool, good talking to you. Aizaki, hiya. Have you ever touched a fish? I do love fish. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. Cool. I'm going to be a top fisher dog someday. I'll be as good as my master in no time. Sure. You got it, buddy. Zaki's house. Let it, yeah, let's see what's in here. Anything I can steal? No. Please do a Scottish accent. I know you can. All right, let me go. Let me go back to that dog and do <laughs> and do a Scottish accent. Here you go. You ready? Here comes the Scottish accent. You didn't play Mario Galaxy last night? What are you talking about? I played I played Mario Galaxy for an hour. <laughs> you can you can view the stream if you missed it. It's in the uh, uh, the playlist in the description. All right, here's the here here, here it comes. <laughs> the Scot the Scottish accent. I'm gonna be a top fisher dog soon, day. I'll be as good as my master in your time. <laughs> there you go, perfect Scottish accent. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot, I forgot bears. <laughs> Run away. Run away, dog. I forgot about that. I forgot the bear. I thought it was another another cute little animal. Oh no! Oh no, the bridge is out. Gotta get public works in on this. Oh, this is another animal. What is that? Can't tell what animal that is, but they're sleeping. They're having a nice little nap. Wow, there's just animals all over the place, huh? That looks like the same one. Yeah, what is this? I, I gotta know. What is this animal? <laughs> hey, what are you? Oh my god, oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's very scary. Oh, oh no, no. Okay. All right, stay away. Good. Oh, I have learned the the smell of this. Look at this. I can I can tell it's uh it's gonna be a grapefruit. Sweet. I learned grapefruit smell. All right, don't mess with the snake or the huge boar. Creely Woods. Yep. What should we name these woods? Well, there certainly are a lot of trees in these woods here. <laughs> Truly sounds pretty good. What do we name these grasslands? How about Grassly? The Grassly Lands. The Grassly Grasslands. What about this desert? Sandly. <laughs> the Sadly Desert. Goliath's house. Uh, who's Goliath? Guardsman J. Bravo, thank you for the two Canadian. Hey, Jason. Hey. Hey, how's it, go how's it going? How you doing? Goliath. Hey there! 
Goliath worked hard today, he did. It'll be dark soon, it will. Be careful. Alright, I don't think... <laughs> I think I picked the wrong voice. For Goliath. <laughs> I was not expecting that particular manner of speech. Anna, thank you for the $2. Jason, you're supposed to go talk to the doctor. Uh... Oh my god, look at that gorilla. Hey! Oh no, oh no. Oh no! Yeah, I probably am just supposed to talk to the doctor, right? I just wanted to look around, you know? Oh my god, there's another smell coming up. Hey, I got an apple! <laughs> Sweet. Guardsman J Bravo, thank you for the two Canadian. I'm tired, how about you? That's, that's, is that, is that how your voice sounds? I'm doing okay, Guardsman, I'm doing all right. I'm not super tired. I should probably be more tired. I took a little nap today though. We're making a shortcut to get to Popsville here. It's still under construction, so you can't go through it yet. I am the guardian of this path. It'll take a while. They're still trying to make the road. You just have to wait. I'm so sorry. <laughs> just put up like a sign or something. Just little squirrels. Yeah, look at these squirrels. Man, there are some good animals in this game. Some real good animals. Uh, I guess we'll go back to the doctor and see what the doc, doc has to say. Oh no, we can learn another smell. Uh, let's figure out what this is. Hey, we got a sunflower. Cool. <laughs> Guardsman J. Bravo, thank you for the two Canadian. When I'm grumpy, it does, but not right now. Is that <laughs> so, so you're like, wow, I'm in a, I'm in a swell mood today. And then you stub your toe and you're like, oh no. <laughs> gosh, gosh darn it. Dang. Oh, I forgot, I forgot you're in Canada, so it'd be like, dang. A, a. Da dang, the letter A. <laughs> Cause I'm in Canada. That's Can Canadian talk. <laughs> Man, how do we get back to this doctor? I like how the dog's like a little run goes in time with this music basically. <laughs> it's, it's very satisfying. I think you mean dog tur. Yeah, I could be making a bunch of dog puns. But I'll leave that to the professionals. No, here's the here's the <laughs> here's the big old Big old gorilla again. We're definitely not going the right way. What is this? Oh, hey, look at this. It's a whole house. Obama's house? Yeah, let's talk to Obama. Oh, Obama's not here. Obama left all their knives, though, so... <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Alright, bye. I'll leave my... I'll leave my card here. Jason, I went to a retro gaming store today and almost bought Detective Barbie, but my friends laughed at me. No good. That's what I say. <laughs> Should absolutely have... Man. Man, that's... That's the kind of stuff that kept me from... From playing those games for so long, and it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. 
They don't understand. The pure joy of Detective Barbie. This was a PS2 game? I thought it was Wii only? Yeah, apparently. I didn't know it was also a Wii game. <laughs> when I got it. Godwin J. Bravo, thank you for the five Canadian. No, I'd probably curse and start talking aggressively like a Canadian hick with plenty of buds and F-bombs thrown in. I have no idea what a Canadian hick sounds like. <laughs> I have exactly like two types of Canadian voices in my head. One of them is like whatever there's a non- one of them is- okay, one of them is Norm Macdonald. <laughs> one of them is Norm Macdonald, and then the other is the nonsense cartoon version. Like an American hick, but with bagged milk. That <laughs> sounds about right. Man, I'm really not finding my way back, huh? Is there a map? <laughs> is, there, is there a map? Aha, uh -huh, there is a map, all right. I wanna get back to the green meadows, so. Okay, this way. Cannot believe how many circles I keep going around in. Finally on the way home, that's right. Jason, your sister is almost dead. Find the heckin' doctor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> this is why I couldn't find it. I thought this was like the road ended, so. My poor sister. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Roger J. Bravo, thank you for the two Canadian. Look up. Out for a rip on YouTube, you'll learn. Okay, I will I will learn, and then I'll be able to do a perfect version of that accent. dogs just kind of still standing there look like they're posing for like an album cover or something <laughs> all right see you dogs god from j bravo thank you for the two canadian i mean right now pause the game and do it nah probably not <laughs> Pro probably not if i could if I had natural breaks in here... <laughs> spend... spend <laughs> go down this rabbit hole of, Like, the stream is just me watching YouTube videos. <laughs> uh, you know what, can I talk to... 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 What was their name again? The Sniff Dog. Can I level up? Have I sniffed enough things to level up? For the next level, you must learn three more smells. I smell a dog that needs help. Yes, a dog in trouble from the direction of Potan's clinic. Let's go and check. Alright. Well, I need three more smells. And there's a do there's a dog in in peril, apparently. Hey, how's it going, Boris? Hey! Deliverers don't just carry objects, we deliver precious memories. Corny, I know, but that's my motto. 
Alright, cool. Yeah, where's this docks? Yeah, this, here we go. Dodge and J Bravo, thank you for the two Canadian. Everyone is demanding it. You must play it now. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'm in control of my own destiny here. <laughs> I, uh, I've gone against... I've gone against the, the, uh, public opinion before. I'm, I'm a maverick. <laughs> oh man, what, what was the Dr. Potan voice? I think it was just nerd voice, right? I can see you are getting better when you are sniffing. I think you can find the herbs I need now. You know the herbs that I need to help cure your sister? What I need is a yellow flower. It grows in the green meadows. It's easy to find because of its yellow petals. It smells like this. You learned the scent of the yellow flower. I'll be waiting for you. I'll continue getting my things ready for this trip. Some events will require you to find scents that are combinations of scents. For example, find an item that smells like a banana and an apple. <laughs> a banapple? To find these items, you will need to learn the different scents that make up that combination. Okay. Eh, nothing in here. Where's that dog that's in trouble around here? Is it you? Are you in trouble? You see all the shops surrounding the square? Restaurants, accessory shops, and a clinic is just around the corner. The largest house is Noble's. <laughs> you okay, Andrea? You alright? Yeah, I don't see any dogs that are like... In, heat, in big trouble. Leslie, are you okay? There's a lot of dogs that live in this village. Why don't you say hi to them? It might be fun. Okay. Oh, look, I can bring up the map on screen. <laughs> Cool, I think I learned that last time, but I've learned it anew. Anna, thank you for the two dollars. Dogs are colorblind. Oh no, now we'll never save my sister. <laughs> Guardsman J Bravo, thank you for the two Canadian. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Thank you. Uh, is that <laughs> is that for me or is that for Anna? What was, that? <laughs> what was that message for? <laughs> oh my God! This cabbage is everywhere. Oh God! <laughs> too many cabbages. Eric, thank you for the 279 Canadian. Your ferret video. Got my wife to purchase ferrets. Really? <laughs> Saw that video and we're like, ah, oh, yes. Want to bring these delightful creatures into our home. <laughs> kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> Gardrin J. Bravo, thank you for the 2 Canadian. It was for Anna. I'm a sassy one. Dang. Dang, sassing the other... The other chat members. I don't know if I can condone this sassy war. That's... I, I guess it's one-sided. I guess no one else is... <laughs> it's just you being sassy, I guess. I guess it's not really a war. Umbra, thank you for the two dollars. Dogs can see yellow and blue. Oh, great. Okay, well, the sister's saved. Sister's not gonna die. Alright. <laughs> the day is saved. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, help me. This is kinda yellow, right? Man, I'm getting real far away from, the, from these smells. 
I want to find what this this one smell is. What is this? God dang, where is this smell? Oh, I'm getting closer. Getting closer. Oh, there it is. Oh, I got a tulip. Sweet. Any more tulips here? No. Yeah, right, yellow flower. Yellow flower, I'm coming for you, you son of a gun. I don't care about you, cabbage. Get off my screen. <laughs> Get off my screen, cabbage. Uh, no, does that snake have it? I bet that friggin' snake has it. Man, that snake didn't even hear me. Snakes steal a bunch of stuff. Like flowers that grew naturally that they probably just picked because they thought it was pretty. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dog. Oh, here it is. Here it is, we found it. Hey, I got a yellow flower. I don't want any cabbage. I don't even know what the dog does with cabbage. <laughs> Do dogs eat, ca eat cabbage? Uh, I guess I'll go back, bring that sweet yellow flower into the dock. Rough. Dogs eat cucumbers and broccoli? Yeah, I guess dogs will eat most anything, but... I can't imagine a dog finds some cabbage and is like, oh, heck yes. Yes, finally. Yeah, cabbage. Mmm. <laughs> mm, yum, num, num, num. I'm gonna eat this. Eat this crunchy cabbage. You handed him the yellow flower. Yes, this is it. Thank you. But I need two other herbs. One of them is called a blue flower. I asked Francis to get it, but she should be back by now. Could you check on how she's doing? I heard she was having some trouble with the Victory Gang's pranks. Their pranks are getting worse these days. I just hope they don't hurt Francis. Oh dang, the Victory Gang. Alright. I gotta, gotta go find... Finlayson, thank you for the five Canadian. When is the last Charlie episode? And if you can't answer that, say something in the ghost has voice. Uh, when? The answer is, I don't know when it's done. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's taking me a while, but it's, it's still coming along. And it's, it's going to be real good. It's gonna be... 10% worth the wait. Not 100% worth the wait. It's been a long time, but don't worry. It'll be 10% worth the wait. <laughs> Alright, so there's a standoff between these dogs and a ghost and me. Alright, well that worked out. <laughs> I guess... Who, who are those dogs? And this one, she's fainted. Oh, oh. Hey, she's coming too. Oh my, I'm so sorry, I don't know what to say. Oh, hey, you're Sinclair's, named after Claire's accessories, your parents' favorite shop of them all. Guards and Jay Bravo, thank you for the five Canadian. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Could I get another bedtime story? The last one was great. Uh, the last one was not great. Absolutely not great. 
Uh, but sure, yeah. Guardsman J. Bravo was just about to go to bed one night when the titular dog from the Dog Island showed up, floating in through a guardsman's window. The dog said, Hello, eh? I'm from the Canadian Dog Island. Hey. <laughs> and guardsman said, I don't I don't believe you. That doesn't sound like a real Canadian accent. And the dog said, You got me, eh? I'm I'm just a regular flying dog. <laughs> I'm not from any special island. Sorry everyone. Sorry I lied. And then guardsman said, What do you mean? Everyone. And then the dog said, Hey, you're on you're on TV. Dot 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 And guardsman was like, What what really? <laughs> the dog was like no, you got me again. Sorry, sorry. I docked this whole conversation up. I just, I'm just gonna go. And Guardsman was like, "All right, yeah, I gotta go to bed." Anyway, I was just about to go in bed. I was just about to go under my, my Spider-Man blanket <laughs> and go to sleep. And the dog said, "Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll leave you alone." And the dog floated to the window and just kind of bonked into it. And then the dog said, Oh no. Oh no, I'm I'm corporeal now, dang. <laughs> this is gonna make things a lot harder, eh? And then Guardsman said, Yeah, I'll open the window for you. And Guardsman J. Bravo opened the window. And like three more dogs flew in. And Guard <laughs> Guardsman J. Bravo was like, Dang, dang, I don't I don't have all night for this dog stuff. And all the dogs they started they started going through the fridge, eating all the, <laughs> eating all guardsmen's food. It was pretty. It was pretty rough that night. <laughs> it was guardsman J Bravo didn't get a lot, a lot of sleep. The dog just kind of didn't leave. <laughs> guardsman J Bravo, thank you for the five Canadian. That'd be awkward if I was considering I sleep in my boxers. I have, uh, I have one of those in my closet. I don't know what that's referring to. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember what part of my story that was <laughs> I was referring to. But uh, yeah, I hope I hope you enjoyed that bedtime story. I hope no dogs fly in through your window. Although it's it's possible they will on account of the story. Sometimes when I say stories, it kind of it kind of mat materializes itself in real life. That's, that's the thing that happens, right? Matt. Yes, you are Sinclair's, named after Claire's Accessories, your parents' favorite shop in the mall. I'm Francis. I work as a nurse at Dr. Potan's clinic. Guardsman J. Bravo, thank you for the two Canadian. The TV thing and the blanket. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for answering my question and also giving me <laughs> additional, additional, additional dollars. I heard about you from Dr. Paten. You came to the Dog Island to save your sister all by yourself, right? You're so brave. I just wish I had half as much confidence. Aww. <laughs> Francis just made that sound out loud. You have time to listen to my story? Well, let me tell you anyway. <laughs> oh, go, okay. Those dogs who were here just now were the Victory Gang. It's a gang that loves to cause trouble for other dogs. Well, the problem is, it's really about me. I'm a nurse, you see. But I'm actually terribly afraid of the sight of blood. Go on, laugh if you want. A nurse who's scared of blood. I know, I know. It was okay to start with. I only felt a little sick. But now, just seeing the color red is enough to make me feel sick. When it gets really bad, I even faint. Yep. <laughs> the Victory Gang found out all about all this, and now they love to pick on me. And I need to look for the blue flower for Dr. Potan. 
but those victory gang dogs keep throwing tomatoes at me. It scares me so much that I can't deal with my work. I wish I could just t teach you the smell, but I'm not even confident enough to teach you anything right now. But the victory gang aren't to blame, not really. I am. It's my weakness. <laughs> no, I think they're to blame. I don't think it's you. I know I should be able to control it, but just seeing anything red is enough to make me feel sick. But I've heard about something called the Brave Fruit. The Brave Fruit is a plant that grows in the green meadows. They say that eating it makes you brave. Find one, I'd be able to teach you what the blue flower smells like. Please, find the Brave Fruit for me. I think this is what the Brave Fruit smells like. You learn the scent of the Brave Fruit. Wonderful. Okay, well, I guess I gotta go deal with that. <laughs> Useless Dave, thank you for the 499. Please tell a special lady out there named Zariah. Hey. Hey, Zariah, how's it, how's it going, Zariah? How you doing? <laughs> How are things going today? Zariah. Zariah, I hope life is everything you want it to be, Zariah. I hope the world is turning out the way... You know, it, pro it probably isn't in many ways. <laughs> just, just thinking about it, probably, probably not. I hope, Zariah, that the world gets better for you, Zariah. For you specifically. I hope, <laughs> I hope the world gets better. I hope the world assembles itself in a Zariah friendly fashion. Finlayson, thank you for the $5. Can you say gosh darn in the ghost house voice? Sorry to ask twice, I just really like that series and it makes me laugh. Yes. Day 21 in the gosh darn ghost house. <laughs> gosh darn it, this ghost house. This ghost house is so gosh darn spooky, you know? What am I gonna do about all these gosh, gosh darn ghosts? What am I looking for? Aren't I looking for- Oh, I guess I'm looking for that fruit, yeah. We're getting closer. Oh, no, this is just a sheep. Mm, mm, smell that good sheep. Oh my god, the sheep seems kinda, kinda, kinda upset about that, sorry. Sorry, sheep, I apologize. Can you give my dog a shout out? His name is Bismarck. He is watching your stream. Bismarck. Bismarck. Bismarck, I love you. Bismarck. <laughs> Bismarck, you're a good, a good dog, Bismarck. A very good dog, probably Bismarck. You've got brave fruit. Sweet. I got some brave fruit. Oh no, bear. <laughs> Dog's having a real good time. Look at look at his, his dog running around. Let's see, have we have we learned enough smells yet? I can sense you've learned some new smells. I shall raise your level. Doop -a -doop -boop -boop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right. Getting to new level, sweet. Uh, that was some level almost gaining right there. For the next level, you must learn 30 more smells. Uh, let me find what you seek with my sniffing. Sniff, sniff, sniff. 
Hmm, I see. Smells coming from these green meadows. Now the rest is your job. Think of it as a part of your training. Okay, uh, Jerry, you know what? Yeah, why not? 30 more smells, God. Can't believe there's 30 more objects. <laughs> so many, so many little objects. Uh, where's Francis? Francis? Akabakaba! Akabakaba! Aruko! Man, Francis, where are you? <laughs> where, where's, this, where's this dog gone to? In the clinic? Okay. I believe Francis freak- I can't believe Francis freaking died. Oh, you're back from the dead, Francis. <laughs> it's the brave fruit. You gave the brave fruit to Francis. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Please excuse my manners. Francis eats the brave fruit. She became a little braver. I feel slightly, but surely a little more brave. I don't think I'd faint now, even if I saw actual blood. I can see so much blood now. You cannot imagine the amount of blood I can look at. Now I can teach you the smell of the blue flower. It smells like grape mixed with lavender. The blue flower's in the, in the Treely Woods. I saw one by the entrance to Lumi Lake. Hey, I got, I got one bone. Lumi Lake. Francis is a girl, by the way. Please keep the voice, though. I know. I 100% know. I try to. I try to not like. Like go sp like <laughs> like the voices I do. I try not to to uh, to put them into specific gender categories. We gotta get to Lumi Lake. I guess we gotta go to the Treely Woods. But like... Via Lumi Lake, I mean... We gotta get to the... Yeah, Treely Woods, but... <laughs> but the Lumi Lake's entrance. Wasn't there a game where you played as a glove man? Yeah, I got that game. I got this on N64. I think. Oh my god, oh no. Oh, you got me. Oh dang, my heart. My poor little heart. Glover. Yeah, that's it. Glover. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's check this dang map. Alright, straight ahead. See, I just have a friend named Francis who always gets judged for her name. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> people, people get real... People get really, uh... Uh, specific about about names being either like oh this is a 
This name is only for bo boys. <laughs> this name only for girls. If you have the wrong kind of name, then we gotta make sure you know we think it's real weird. <laughs> it's no good, no good, I say. Hey, Goliath. Uh, in trouble I am. The axe handle is broken. I can't work. And who are you? You explain the story. You want to go through here, then? Go along the river heading south of this forest and bring me a new axe handle. The road splits in two ways, just across the bridge if you head a little back. Follow the other path to the south along the river. A gorilla lives there, so be careful. <laughs> okay. okay, sure. Bark at it from behind while it doesn't know you are there. Then the gorilla will drop the axe handle. The axe handle smells like this it does. You learn the scent of the axe handle. Use your sniffing to follow the smell of the gorilla. But if, a go if the gorilla's in a bad mood, you better watch out. I'll rest up here. Go get it for me, please. Okay. Oh, it snakes right there. Oh god. <laughs> uh, well, we're in an hour, so I'm gonna go and save the game, and we'll continue this quest next week, next Tuesday. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. We're playing Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets on PS. You no, know, uh, GameCube. Yeah, we got that one on the GameCube. And then Thursday is more Barbie. Which games? I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely going to be some Barbie. And then the Dog Island, of course. I think I said this already. I said this. <laughs> continuing. Uh, continuing. Next week. But it up, but down, and up. Dog Island. Da -ba -da -ba -ba -do -ba -ba. Make sure to play it on Wii so it doesn't crash, though. Maybe. I've gone and, just in case it was the uh, the GameCube, I've gone and cleaned up the lens of the GameCube. I'm gonna do some testing before we start we start tomorrow to make sure. The game doesn't crash. The disc looks kind of donked. I guess the Wii maybe has a more powerful laser or something. <laughs> Just a, a super powerful laser beam. That it shoots at the disc to get it to work. Uh, let's save this game. Any post can perform a save for you. Cool. Yeah, save's complete. All right. I'll answer a few questions before I go. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, uh, before before you go, I've put up on uh, on Itchio uh, the the Devin visual novel I was working on. If you know who Devin is, <laughs> if if you don't know who Devin is, then, uh, you know, maybe this is not going to interest you whatsoever. But uh, I made a visual novel based on Devin, specifically the time in which he was dead. What he was up to while he was dead, before he came back. <laughs> so the visual the visual novel's up on itch.io. Itch uh, you, can, you can view it at catnight.itch.io. There's a lo there's a longer name for the the actual game, uh the the actual uh it's catnai.itch.io slash devon dash and dash the dash celestial dash necropolis, <laughs> but it's easier to just go to catnight. 
dot itch dot io. What's the title of the game? The title is Devon and the Celestial Necropolis. It's uh, available for uh, PC and Mac, and I think Linux. It said I, I used uh, RenPy to make it, and it exported. It said it said it works on Linux. I don't have a Linux machine to uh, to test it on, so who knows? <laughs> who knows? Works best if you install it from the itch.io desktop app rather than uh, downloading it from your browser. But there's some instructions if you want to do it that way. Um, on Mac and also Windows 10, there's some gatekeeping stuff the operating systems do uh, that'll that'll try to protect your system by not letting you launch apps that you've downloaded from a browser. Uh, there are ways around it. Finlayson, thank you for the two Canadian. What do you animate with? Uh, Adobe After Effects. I, I do art with Adobe Animate, and then I animate with Adobe After Effects. Agro, thank you for the 5A. Hug Luca. I had to my 16-year-old uh, cat sergeant down... I had to put my 17-year-old cat sergeant down yesterday. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. That sucks. I, uh, I have had to put animals down a few times, and it always is, yeah, it always completely ruins me. It's, it's, yeah. I will hug Luca. I will do that. Seventeen years old. That's, that, that's... That's that's a good that's a good age. I'm sure I'm sure Sergeant had a had a good cat life. And uh yeah. I'm real real sorry to hear that. Kimberly, thank you for the five dollars. Any new movies you recommend? Any new movies? I don't think I have I don't think I've seen, like, a lot of new movies. <laughs> like, movies that have just come out. What movies have I watched recently? I watched All About Eve recently. That's... That's that's a pretty good movie. All About Eve. <laughs> I recommend you go watch All About Eve. That's not new. That's pretty old. It's <laughs> a pretty, pretty old movie. I watched, uh, oh my god, what was, okay, hold on. I watched, I watched a couple of good movies recently. One second. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm trying to. Amazon rent. I rented. I rented some stuff on Amazon recently, so I'm, lo I'm looking through my emails to try to <laughs> figure out. Oh yeah, I watched Hannah. It's an action movie. It's called Hannah. It's pretty good. If you like action movies, it's a it's a good. It's a good action film. Sorry to bother you. Go see it. It's great. Yeah, I really want to see Sorry to Bother You. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to that one. I'm not uh, sure if I'm going to be able to see that. While it's in theaters. Hannah was the first DVD I ever pre-ordered. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good, pretty good movie. Finlayson, thank you for the, the two Canadian. What's your favorite song? My favorite song. What is my favorite song? Gosh. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and say, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is... <laughs> it, it would probably... If I had to think about what song I've heard the most, I guess that would end up being my favorite song, right? So, like... I don't listen to a whole lot of jazz anymore, uh, but Take 5 by Dave Brubeck, the Dave Brubeck Quartet, I've probably heard that a lot, <laughs> just because, like, when I had back surgery when I was a teenager, uh, I, that was a song that could relax me, I would put that on and it would just, it would be easier to lay there in pain, so... <laughs> So that that song has a a uh, a special pl place in my heart. I know that's like the song. <laughs> that's like uh, that's like that's like one of the few jazz songs that almost everyone knows of. But it is it is one that comforts me. So I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if if people. If jazz people judge me for saying that, <laughs> like, oh, what kind of pizza do you like? Oh, I like, I like this really popular chain. <laughs> it's it's still a good song. It's well known for a reason. I mean, not every song that's super well-known, I would say, is also good. But I guess, you know, I guess it is. I guess every song that is popular is good. Because, like, I mean, some people clearly like listening to it, so that must mean it's good. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, I think I think every popular song is good. That's that's what I'm saying right right here and right now. Every single popular song, pretty good. Jazz people are judging you right now, Jason. I know. That's fine. Let them judge. <laughs> Let him judge. I also listen to... I also listen to new experimental stuff. Which I guess... Uh, <laughs> you know, there's a bunch of jazz people who judge that, too, I guess. Jason, do you like Richard Cheese? Yeah, I, I like Richard Cheese. Uh... I don't listen to Richard Cheese anymore. I used to listen to Richard Cheese, and then I kind of got over the gimmick. I I think he does a good job with what he does. I just am never in the mood to listen to that anymore. I guess. <laughs> I feel like Neil Cesariga has kind of taken over that slot in my head of when I want to listen to to covers. I just listened to Neil Cicerega. Any YouTube collabs? As in, have I collabed or will I collab? There's no YouTube collaborations currently planned for Film Cow. I, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't expect any in the future either. I mean, who knows? Neil Cicerega's mashups are like a comedy mugging in a good way. It's <laughs> a good way to put it. Guest grumps. People keep saying that. I still, I haven't, I haven't, uh. Is that a is that a podcast? Is that a series? I mean, if I get invited to something, you know what? I'll 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 show up. I'll show up and be like, "Hey, hey I'm here. I did it." <laughs> but uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not one to reach out to that kind of stuff. I think the main reason I don't... Okay, so this is going to be deep into the psychology of Jason. Here, here comes... Here comes deep into my psychology here. Uh, there was a... Uh, uh, a YouTube convention... Uh, called Playlist Live. And... 
they they were based in Orlando, which is the city that I live in. <laughs> the city that I live in. Playlist Live. And so I was like, oh, that's that's real cool. And I was like, I'll just I'll just I'll just reach out because I mean they're in this city. If I'm gonna go to a YouTube convention, this one seems <laughs> This one seems like the one to go to, because I could just drive over there. So I, I contacted them, and they were all like, Oh, hey, yeah, we're, we're, big, we're big fans. We'd love, we'd love to have you come. I was like, oh, great. Uh, so I got, I, got in, I got invited after inviting myself, essentially, after emailing them. I um, uh, didn't get a hotel room or anything, just... Uh, because, you know, we lived, I was, I, I specifically was like, hey, you know, this is a low-cost investment for you. I just, I just, you know, would, would love to come, <laughs> would love to show up. And uh, every year they kept, they kept doing the convention in Orlando and they never actually invited me. They never, like, reached out at any point. So for a couple years, I, uh, I would, I would, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. I would email them and be like, "Hey, hey, you're doing the convention again. I would love to, love to come." <laughs> and they just, it just kind of seemed like they didn't super want me. I don't know. I feel like if they had wanted me, they would have reached out, but they never did. So I just stopped emailing them and stopped going. And because of that. <laughs> Because of that, I just feel real awkward about contacting anyone to be on anything. Because, uh, you know, I don't want to, f <laughs> I don't want to, like, guilt people or put them in an awkward situation. You're too good for them, Jason. I don't know. It was a pretty well-run conference, honestly. Like, as far as uh, as far as uh, those kind of conferences go, I think they did a, a a reasonably good job. It was mostly like m like uh, vloggers and music people and stuff like that. There were some uh, there were a couple of animators there, but you know. I don't, I don't know. It was, it was fine. Will you or can you continue Shadowstone Park if VRV drops it? Uh, I, I'm not sure what I can, <laughs> I have a specific contract and I can't say the terms of that contract. I think I can, eventually. I don't know if I will, though. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And it's the sort of thing that's... Essentially, essentially, like, uh... An episode takes me... About a month... To do of Shadowstone Park. And the amount of money I could make... On YouTube is about 150 bucks <laughs> probably from an episode I can make about $150 so to work for a whole to put a whole month of work into something to make 150 bucks it's just not really tenable so <laughs> so pro probably would not continue Hey Jason, just wanted to tell you to expect something in the mail that I painted you. Uh, that I painted you. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll look. I'll I'll uh, check the PO box. I mean, I do already every week, but I'll check it extra this time. After hearing about the how the creator of Aqua Teen Hunger Force was treated by Adult Swim, are you glad in res retrospect they didn't sign you up? Well, I'm not glad that I don't have like a, a a show on Adult Swim, but. Like, the vibe that I got from them wasn't a super good vibe. I mean, <laughs> I can say that. Uh, 
just the contract that they uh, sent me when they were interested in a Charlie the Unicorn show was the most exploitative contract I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, at that point, it was, like, the first, con the first like, big contract that I saw. And then, uh... <laughs> So I was like, oh, I wonder if this is standard for, like, the industry. And it turns out it wasn't. It's really not. It's still the worst contract that I've ever seen. <laughs> like, it was it was just such a predatory contract that they sent me, a poor young animator, just trying to make it in the big world. How many actual hours have gone into the Charlie finale after all this time, and will the monetary return be worth it? Uh, no, not, <laughs> as for how many hours, I have no idea, like, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's like a near infinite amount of hours have gone into this, and there's no way that the monetary return will be worth it, I, ultimately, I'm gonna lose money on the finale, like, I did the Kickstarter because I want to, I wanted to make the finale really bad, and I knew, financially, I could not do it without support, but ultimately, ultimately, <laughs> It's like uh, a, a huge chunk of that just goes to Kickstarter and then another huge a massive chunk goes to fulfilling rewards and then just the money that goes into just surviving while not doing other projects and only doing Charlie. It's like ultimately at the end I'm going to be slightly in debt from <laughs> from putting together the finale but it's worth it for art. Finlayson, thank you for the five Canadian. Rumors on the street says you have been take, taken hostage by Channel Frederator. Taken hostage? <laughs> oh no, what? No, I I, uh, I love Frederator. Frederator is my multi-channel network. They're, uh, they're good. They have they have the best contracts I've <laughs> I've ever seen. They're they're like the exact opposite of the Adult Swim contracts. Like every contract I've gotten from Frederator for anything we've done has been super good. Are you with Cartoon Hangover on VRV or just VRV? Uh, I'm... Channel... Fre uh, like, Frederator is my uh, multi-channel network, so they're the ones who contacted me to do the uh, the series. So VRV, as far as, far as I know, like, VRV themselves have no stake in the series. It's just a uh, cartoon hangover through VRV. Is there going to be a part two of Detective Mittens? Uh, well, you can, you can listen to the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, Detective Mittens audiobook that's being posted chapter by chapter on, on the Patreon if you become a, a $3 and up Patreon supporter. It's called The Murder of Detective Mittens. And it's about... It's... It's... <laughs> it's really... It's, uh... <laughs> I started writing it as, like, uh, a, a murder mystery, but really what it is, is just, is just me, <laughs> me talking about how much I love Lady Windermere's fan, <laughs> the play by Oscar Wilde, so, uh, if that interests you, if you're, if you're a big, if you're a big Lady Windermere's fan, fan, that's the audiobook for you. I figure I figure there's gotta be like I figure most people listening to the audiobook 
are enjoying it for the mitten stuff, and then there's like one person listening to it who's a huge Lenny Windermere's fan fan, and it's just just <laughs> just finally, finally, the media for me that combines my two favorite things, Detective Mittens, and Lady Windermere's fan. The Devin thing is fun, Jason. Thank you. Glad you like it. I'm going to be doing a video to to let people know about it soon. Devin and the Celestial Necropolis. A visual novel. Available now on catnight.itch.io. Oh, that's... By the way, that's what we decided to name the, uh... The games company. <laughs> Cat Knight. Cat Knight. Every night is cat night, when you're a cat. Kimberly, thank you for the $2. I appreciate the support, Kim Kimberly. I'm, I'm looking forward to putting together some sort of logo for cat night that just shows a bunch of cats creeping about at night. <laughs> combines, combines two things. I love cats... And night. Anyway, that's that's about it for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow playing Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets on the GameCube. Until then, I hope you have a great evening. A great morning, great afternoon. Great. What other times are there? <laughs> I'm sure there's other times. <laughs> Whatever it is, wherever you are, have a have a wonderful it. Farewell everyone. I love you all. <laughs>